This is amazing. Now we can use artificial intelligence to compose music. Using prompt, we can configure the chords. Just listen to this. This is generated by artificial intelligence. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Music Lang. Music Lang predict your controllable music copilot. In this, we are able to create a music or any random music idea. Not only that, it gives us in MIDI format. MIDI format is a better format for modifying music and mainly it is used by music composers. So this is going to change the music industry. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to use this tool. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. In this, I'm going to use Most Compute CPU. Use Mervin Prison to get 50% discount. I'm using a Linux machine and this is my configuration. So first step, conda create hyphen and music lang python equals 3.11 and then click enter. Now conda activate music lang and then click enter. Next pip install music lang predict and then click enter. This is the main package. Now let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. Inside the file first, I'm going to import time. Next from music lang predict, music lang predictor and corpus. Next initializing music lang predictor. And this is the model which we are using. Music lang, music lang version two. You should be able to find the model in hugging face. So next, generating free music idea. That's the first thing which we are going to try. So first we are going to see how we can randomly generate a music idea that is randomly generating a music then how we can add chord progression to the music, then how we can extend our existing music. And finally, we are going to combine chord progression and prompt. Coming to generating music idea, first we are going to provide some parameters which are required. To quickly see the parameters, the tokens is the length of the music. So 1024 token equals approximately 25 seconds of music. Temperature is the creativity. And then we have top P and then seed. We set a seed so that we get the same output every time. But if you want a random music generation each time, then you can unset that to zero. Now going to give a timer to see how long it will take to generate a music. Then we are going to use ml.predict. This is the function which is going to predict or create the music. And we are providing all those four parameters. Next, we are printing for our reference. And finally, we are going to save that in MIDI file using score free dot to MIDI. That's it. So literally we define the parameters use the function to predict the music and finally we are saving it. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal python app.py and then click enter. Now this will automatically start generating the music and the free music idea got generated in 50 seconds. So we save that in music mid file. I'm going to import that to my computer and then open using logic pro. Here is my MIDI file, right click open with logic pro. And now we are in logic pro. I'm going to play this music. Let's see what's going to happen. You can even further modify your music by opening that. You can even change all the notes. Everything is configurable. That is the beauty of a MIDI file. You can change the drums and also you can change your guitar as well by changing the notes. This is taking AI music generation to the next level. Next, we are going to see how we can add chord progression. So number two, controlling the chord progression. Same like before, we are going to add some configuration. That is the parameters. One main difference is that we have the chord progression. I'm going to use A minor, C major, D minor, E7 and A minor as the chords. Same as before, going to set a time. Then I'm going to use ml.predict chord function and then pass the chord progression in the first parameter. That is the only major change. And also I'm giving a time signature that is four by four. You can even change that to three by four or six by eight based on your requirement. Finally, printing for a reference and saving that in the code.mid file. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code, python app.py and then click enter. Music got generated in 17 seconds. 
Now I'm going to download and open the file in Logic Pro. Right click, open that with the Logic Pro. And the chord got ready in here. Now I'm going to play this. Now this is based on the chord progression which we provided. You can even modify this and try different variation. Now we are going to see how we can use existing music and then extend from there. Third, using a prompt to continue with your own music. Giving a prompt and other parameters as before. Setting a start time and using the same ml.predict function. So the only difference you can see here is that we are using a score from Corpus and the song is Bonium. Ma Baker. So you can even try various other things here and also you can use your own song to extend from here. Next end time, printing for a reference and then saving that in a file. Now going to run this code, python app.py. Music got generated in 80 seconds. Now I'm going to open it, open with the Logic Pro and here is the music. <laughs> bass guitar, organ, you can even modify this, if you want to just change the organ, just you can click, I can make it as a piano, now piano is replaced, now I'm going to play it, this is highly customizable, that's what I want to show you, the final thing which we are going to try, is using prompt and also chord progression. Prompt will be the name of the music and then we provide the chord progression. So number four, combining both prompt and chords. We are providing the same parameters, but additionally, here is the prompt and here is the chord progression, starting from C minor and then the chords. Next, start time. Next, score combined, ml.predict chords. Here we are providing the chord progression and also our custom prompt here. That is batch 847. Time signature 4x4. Four four. Chord range 0 to 4. Now end time, printing it for a reference and finally saving it in song chord.mid. Tempo 110. That's it. Now I'm going to run this code. Python app.py. Music got generated in 72 seconds. Now I'm going to open it. Right click, open with Logic Pro. And here is our notes. It's the same music as we requested. Now I can even add a drum, just clicking add button and adding a drummer. Drum is added now. Now I'm going to play it. Let's see. Now I can even add my own bass. Just click add software instrument and create. Then I'm choosing bass from here, that's it. Now bass guitar is ready and I have a MIDI keyboard with me, so I'm going to play with it. I can even record this if I want. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.